Alright, yeah, and welcome back to some more Slay the Spire. We're on the third and final floor, and as always with um, us getting like infinite and big turn combos, we're up against the Time Eater, so automatically our entire combos just failed and fallen flat. So that's fun. I really enjoy Time Eater. Uh, I'm really good at masking sarcasm as well in my voice. So where do we want to go? I think we just want to take the most question marks possible, which... Might? Hmm. It might be this one? I want to hit the shop as well for card removal. Actually, there's a shop along this path, so we'll go this way. Yeah, let's do that. Well, at least for the rest of the floor, we're going to be all good. You never know, my 12 drop kicks a turn might actually still work out just fine. In all honesty. Right, let's feel no pain. Let's bash in flame. Turn order is important there. Dark embrace. Drop kick. Defend. Take no damage. None of those help our deck. Sick burns, bro. Right, burning pack the burn. War cry. The sentinel. Yes. And <laughs> draw it anyway. Yeah, that's actually a number. Disarm. With two Dark Embraces, however. It stops being one. Fiend Fire, we will take that. I don't think I've heard this new track. It's a nice soundtrack. Okay, just Fiend Fire you repeatedly. Lots of damage. Lots of card draw. Yeah, maybe we want to find one of those guys. Uh, this seems pretty good. Get rid of the Sentinel, net some energy. We're up to four energy. I'm then going to second wind all of this away. And we've got our entire deck in our hand, 111 block. So now I just bash and I drop kick infinitely. Mostly infinitely, actually. I need to redo it again. So... Second wind. There we go. Right. Next turn, I drop kick infinitely. Meh. 148 block. Come at me, bro. Why did we have to come up against the time eater? Any other boss would have been just fine. Alright, drop kick, draw, drop kick. Drop kick, draw, drop kick. You know the drill. Another true grit. I don't think we need it. I really don't. Hmm. Let's skip. Right, card removal. Oh, Sharon's ashes would have been so good. We actually don't have gold for card removal. And in actual fact, we don't have any gold for anything good. Maybe the disarm, but with Time Eater, he resets himself, so... The minus four strength would be nice, though. I think as there's something to take, we're going to take that. And it's now 150 gold to remove a card, so we do need to get quite a bit of gold here. Okay. So let's war cry first, because we don't draw anything new off the dark embrace if I do that. And drop, put the drop kick on top actually. And the dark embrace, inflame, and defend. No. You don't want the havoc because I don't want to hit a drop kick. Our only drop kick at that. 
So the Thorny Dude shouldn't be an issue for our infinite combo because along the way we actually just exhaust our entire deck. Which nets us a ton of energy eventually. Eventually, but not now. Oh, you've changed actually. Yeah, in two turns he explodes and deals 30 damage. That's the thing he does now. So he no longer, like, grows. I don't care if you put Daisy in my deck, it's actually just like 12 block for doing so. I'll let it go. So, I don't know how I feel about these Exploders. Offering. Dark Embrace will hit max hand size if I do this. Might as well, though. Do that. Do that. We exhaust all the days and we draw three. Uh, take the drop kick. Every single time you see a drop kick, take it. And that's our hand, and then we draw five. I actually haven't managed to, uh... Ow. Much better. <laughs> oh, boy. Let's, uh, let's Reaper you. My hand is full. Where? Let's defend. No. Oh, look at this ironclad whining about his hand size. It's like, oh, my hand size is too big. Ugh. True grit, a dazed. Actually, a defend. Gets us closer to uh, doing what we want. Second wind. Exhaust all our skills, draw more. We got rid of our... We did actually get rid of our... Um... Feel no pain, didn't we? Which is why we're not netting as much block as we'd like. Got to be aware of that. Alright, well, I'm a little... Well, actually, I don't know why I'm doing that. I should hit you, because your 7 block is nothing. Fiend fire. Uh, we're a bit low on our deck size right now, so no. Yeah, we need 9 block for every hit that we give you. Although we could just block forever, potentially. Hmm. We'll see about that. Sentinel. Bash. Pass. Ah, uh, take the drop kick again, I guess. There's only one way we're getting out of this, and it's by killing this guy, so... I'm gonna start true gritting things that are not defense, because I'm going to need the block. Good job this guy's actually giving us a uh, block. By adding days to our deck, we actually have a target that's not a thing in our deck. Alright, so drop kick. Drop kick. Drop kick. Bash. Drop kick. Yay! Dex potion. Kinda nice. Metallicize. Probably pointless. The disarm plus. Probably pointless. We got two. Haven't even upgraded them yet. I'm gonna skip. Question about time. Not a battle. Good. Oh, we're falling. Okay. Do I want to lose Reaper? Or oh, the unupgraded True Grit? Do we have that? Hang on. Got two true grits. Is it just not showing me it in its upgraded form? 
Either I'm blind or it is. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the Reaper. Because I think we net so much block that we just don't take hits. If we play it carefully, which I exhausted the Feel No Pain by accident. Which resulted in me not being able to do what I wanted to. And we'll bash. Yeah, we'll bash you. No. Okay. Dazed. Okay. Dazed and confused. In flame. Get that up. And we're just gonna work your shield down as we go. Take the offering. Your thorns goes up. Shouldn't matter too much. Those days net us 12 block in total. True grip the sentinel. Net some energy. Let's offering. War cry. Defend. Offering. Dark embrace. Defend. Reduce your attack to nothing. True grit a wound. Drop kick. It's gonna keep hitting you. Because he's got the artifact, which means it's gonna take nine years for me to actually uh, take that down. So instead, I might as well just use my attack turns to kill him manually. <laughs> instead of infinitely. Alright, good old Calipers leaves us with 23 block. And a dark embrace. So that when we exhaust, we go crazy. Burning Pact. I'm going to go with the Dazed. We've got too many of them. True Grip. The Dazed. Same reason. Say no. I don't think we can actually die. Um, the Time Eater might change that. Since we can't actually uh, go infinite. But the fact that... Might just second wind. It's just second wind. It's the cheapest way <laughs> to exhaust my entire deck. There we go. I'm holding my entire deck in my hand now with three energy, 97 block. So now I just go bash and we drop kick you to death. Draw a the bash, but then we draw the drop kick. Just draws the drop kick. And then we've got one energy left. I just second wind all of my blocks and true grits out. And Immolate is dead. War cry is pointless. I'm just gonna skip. So yeah, I think we're uh, we're at a point now where I can just like murder this guy. There we go. Not truly infinite, but not truly necessary. Is that needed? No. We can't go infinite because of his artifact. Alright. Draw some cards. It's actually a bashless hand, which is... Slightly worrying, but there you go. I'm going to take the feed. I actually might be able to enable it. So, strike. Drop kick. He's... Oh no, it's 12. Nice. HP up. Nope. If we could set up the top of our deck, which we can no longer do, we have the Warcry, but we draw a card when it exhausts itself. 
if we could do that, then Havoc would be good, but... Uh, let's smith. We're not going to get enough gold in order to um, remove a card. Something to be aware of. Uh, bring you down to... Actually, no. We'll bring the offering to five cards. Value. Uh, anything good? No. Nothing at all. Shame, but it's a it's actually a tile that doesn't involve combat. So you can think of it think of it like that, that it was just a battle where we didn't take the card. Disarm. Defend. Actually, this might be a dex potion situation. Is it a dex potion situation? Yeah, let's, let's dex it. So we have the thorns, which means that I do eventually, at some point... Um, just strike there. Take another disarm. Or another second wind. I think we've got enough of those. Let's just disarm. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, we want to net, like, a ton of block. So we need that feel no pain and then we need our ability to exhaust the right things. Let's war cry. Well. The strike in this case, I guess. And then we'll true grit the wound. And then we'll just true grit. I'll take the feed. The low life enough that we could probably uh, find a spot for that. All those days, thank you for giving me block. Right, I need 30 block. We got 12 in hand, unfortunately. Actually, no, we've got a little bit more because we've got the disarm. Disarm you. Strike you. No. So he blocks, but then he's going to kill us. Oh, he's going to kill us next turn, I guess. Or is it right at the end? I don't understand why he's blocking, <laughs> to be honest. Ouch. Dark Embrace. Bash you. Immolate. I could immolate. I could go for some spicy immolate. Yeah, sure. So I think I can kill this Repulsor with a feed to net some life. Because we do have uh, Odd Mushroom, which means that we actually deal a hell of a lot more damage with the... Um... Ooh. Let's disarm you again. Immolate a Dazed. Should have immolated a wound, really, but... Offering. Second wind. I wanted to do this nine years ago. <laughs> ah, beautiful. Beautiful chaos. Do that. And then just... Ah, for the peace of mind, I, there's no point. There's actually just no point. You are dead. You're going to die, because 182 block is more than enough. True Grit the Strike. Shouldn't have True Grit the Strike. Why did I True Grit the Strike? True Grit the Defend. Bash ya. I had lethal. I skipped it. As I'm living on the edge. He dies as soon as he hits me, but I win as soon as I hit him. There's no value in anything other than killing him. 
All right. Anything good? See, Rampage might be useful. I might take Rampage. Because I expect it to be played quite a lot. More than a strike, which we'll uh, remove if we get the chance. We can loot at dig sites. Interesting. Um, I'm taking this right-hand path for the question marks and the campfire opportunity. I want the card removal. First time you lose HP, draw three cards. Okay. I think we upgrade. Probably the Dark Embrace, maybe. Then again, second wind potential for uh, after the Feel No Pain. The more block we get, the less that the time eater stopping our turn matters. Seven block instead of five, that adds up quite quickly. We're battling. I didn't want to battle. Alright. Feel no pain. Dark Embrace. Mm, we'll just do this. No. Take no damage. Try set up a lovely little Reaper. That's in flame. Offering. Took damage, so we hit max hand size. <laughs> ah. Oh dear. I have no, um. Oh no, I have the second wind, so this war cry, maybe hitting a sentinel would be nice. Burning pact instead. Okay. Let's do that. Draw it again anyway. Burning Pact. Strike. Really doesn't matter. Gonna disarm you. E. Second Wind. Burning Pact. The Wound. True Grip. A defend. True grit, a wound. Burning pack to strike. Just setting up our deck here. This is our entire deck, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So second wind would be eight, seven, six, five. Yeah, okay. Let's do it. Yay! Pass the turn, take nothing. 170 block! Hmm. It says 18 cards in our exhaust pile. Look at that. Do we not have a Reaper? I thought we had the Reaper. Maybe I picked it up from uh, Nyril's book. Probably. Getting confused now. Right, so let's just do... We don't have True Infinite right now, but... I mean, I can... Bash you, I can drop kick you. Which draws me the bash, which means I can bash you. And then we're set up to kill two next turn. And no. Hit me for 16. I've got 139 block. Alright. So. Drop kick. I'm going to do this before I do... Oh yeah, we need one more card out of my deck. Oh boy. Yeah, we haven't got the infinite kill here. Now that I think about it. Eh, well. Hey, Reaper. I will actually take that. 
It's an opportunity to gain more life. So, bring your shield down. Reaper, gain 18. Oh, 22, because of the vulnerability. Alright, and then pass. No. Sixty-nine block. You had to ruin it. All right, you're dead if you attack me. You are dead when I attack you. So I've just got you to worry about. Drop kick you. You are dead. You are dead. You are dead. Not bad. Doesn't matter. Yeah, we need two drop kicks um, in this current situation, so the one drop kick draws the other. Because once you put the bash into the graveyard, you can't draw again the way that you'd like. So, I mean, naturally finding another drop kick would be lovely, but looks like it's not going to happen. Alright, let's uh, smith, maybe? It's also tempting to go for the dig. Because what the dig will allow us to do is essentially find us the bandages one. I think it's called the bandage. Um, which gives you block whenever you exhaust a card, which just adds to the insanity. Dark Embrace, I guess. Question mark. We get card removal. Beautiful. Which I think, in the sense of the second wind, we don't want to get rid of a skill. We want to get rid of one of our strikes. Which is easy enough. And we are going to rest in this final one. Take us up to 80. Time eater time. Let's see what we can do. Okay. We get some wounds. We're going to dark embrace. We're going to bash, we're going to exhaust, which draws the Dark Embrace. So now we draw two cards every single time we exhaust. No, we've only got two wounds, so this doesn't come up as often as we'd like. Also doesn't do a great deal of damage. True Grit, the strike. Defend, defend, second wind. Oh, feel no pain, why did you come round just then? Maybe the inflame? Gaining energy and exhausting is kind of good, though. I think the inflame is just better. Okay, we take a bit. Draws us some cards, which probably means we hit hand size here. We're going to be able to get the feel no pain going. I'm pretty sure of it anyway. Um, double inflame and disarm in there. That's nice. I guess we'll go with the offering first. Actually, one, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, uh, we hit max hand size that way. I think we're hitting max hand size no matter what happens, to be perfectly honest. We've got to choose how we do this carefully, though. Disarm. Inflame. Ten. Eleven. I think we block True Grit the Wound. Sentinel works. So take 15. He takes 9. That doesn't work. Alright, well. 
Just bash. Rampage. No need to block. And tick that up. Burning Pacts. Probably unnecessary. I need to be careful of my... Um, exhausts, though. Because Feel No Pain has to go first. And then True Grit the Strike. Because I need to net that block. This works out as more. Nets his energy as well. Let's go with True Grit the Sentinel. Six cards left in our deck. Excluding our current hand. I can't get rid of all the true grits as well, because I do want to get my deck down to a small, tiny, minuscule amount eventually. Let's strike. And flame. Means that these deal 10 now. I feel like they should do more. Actually, we've got a uh, weakness attached. That would explain it. 8 on the timer. What's in our deck? True Grits and Second Winds. Okay. Maybe we want an Offering. I don't want to spend this last little bit of time exhausting. So, True Grip. The Defend. Okay, so if I do... I'm going to use this artifact potion as well. Should have used it ages ago. I think the use of True Grits is now gone. With the second wind being a thing. Which takes us up to 157. This is a dead card now, but our deck size is 4. So does it really matter? The answer... I believe is no. Drop kick. <laughs> There's no cards in our deck containing the word strike. Um, I'll take the impervious actually. Because it exhausts and gives me a ton of block. Which we will have to keep going. So I'm going to bash. And then I'm going to Impervious, which draws... Uh, actually, it doesn't make a difference, but I'm going to draw that Bash all the same. And then we're going to use the Energy Potion here so that I can drop kick infinitely. Not quite. Actually. <laughs> I still have forgotten the aspect of it that doesn't actually make sense. Limit break. Yes. I think we take cards that exhaust. Just to build up our block. And until we get another drop kick at least. Until then we get Rampage coming back through. Which is kind of like the drop kick kind of situation that we have. Right, I'm going to double my attack. We're going to Rampage you. And then we're going to bash you again. Keep that vulnerability up. Another impervious. I think we'll keep taking them. Okay. Impervious. So he pretty much undoes his uh, entire turn, which is hilarious.
So I play this, it goes... It, what it should do, or what I think it should do, is deal the 13 damage, goes into my graveyard, then gains me an energy and draws me a card. But I think what actually happens is that it draws a card that's no longer there because it all resolves at the same time. So I should just rampage, drop kick, draw a rampage, and rampage again. And... Hemokinesis is tempting, actually. Although, what's the size of our deck right now? It's four. So we can only take one more card that doesn't exhaust. I'll save it for something a little bit more impressive. We're only playing one card next turn, but it's going to be the uh, the Rampage, because it's slowly getting more powerful. Hey, Sentinel. Sure, let's take Sentinel. We can exhaust that with the second wind. He gains half his health. We're actually going to win this. So, second wind. Net me some energy. Bash. Rampage. Drop kick. Hopefully draw the rampage again. We bash instead. And he's actually just dead next turn. Haha! -ha! Drop kick infinite combo does work out in the end. Especially if you got Nairal's Codex, which is probably the reason why we won in the first place. Deal 108 damage, let's go. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Alright. Not bad. Not bad at all. Managed to finally make the deck work. After the previous failure. Alright, which actually means that we have completed the game, I do believe. In terms of unlocks, anyway. Ooh, good, 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 good. good. Alright. We get Dead Branch, whenever you exhaust a card, add a random card to your hand, wouldn't that be lovely? Singing Bowl, whenever adding cards to your deck you may gain 2 max HP instead, so if we remove, if we choose not to take a card, we can just go up health. And then Blue Candle, curse cards can now be played, when you play a curse, it will make you lose 1 HP and exhaust the card. Really powerful stuff. Alright guys, well, that is going to do it for today's episode. I think that now that we've done that, uh, we'll probably start doing dailies and also um, ascension mode as well, because that is what I said I would do. Completely, 100%, no unlocks left. Just waiting on that third character now. We can go on ascension mode, which I shall tick. Ascension mode means elites will spawn more often, and then uh, every single time we win, um, the runs get a little harder. There's also dailies as well, so we have things that we have to do that day, and then these are the things that'll happen, but... Enemies drop 200% more gold, but you can upgrade cards at rest sites, ooh. So, yeah, anyway guys, I do hope you've enjoyed. If you have, like, subscribe, hit that little bell icon, and all that jazz. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.